And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, this is Keith again, and it looks like a liquid cooled dual GPU Radeon RX Vega graphics card is allegedly in development by ASUS, and it should grace the store's shelves later this year. And we've heard whispers of that design work is underway at ASUS to put two of AMD's upcoming high-end Vega 10 on a single board which is pretty interesting and it's not the first time that ASUS has gone out of their way to do this on their own. A couple of weeks ago we heard that AMD has given its AIB partners the green light to take whatever freedoms they wish to design custom graphics card based on the company's brand new Vega 10 GPUs. And this includes the Vega 10 XT, the 64 compute chip unit, as well as the Vega 10 XL, which is the 56 compute unit chip. Now if what we're hearing is true, ASUS will take those design liberties offered by AMD to the absolute max and an absolute monster of a card featuring two full Vega 10 XT GPUs. That would bring you over 50 teraflops of FP16 compute and 25 teraflops of FP32 compute, nearing in on a 600 watt card. It's set to be the world's most powerful but most power hungry single graphics card. At this juncture, liquid cooling is no longer a luxury, but it's going to be absolutely required to keep this card in check. Now, ASUS will allegedly only make a limited number of these cards and will charge a pretty penny for them. So you're not going to get away with a very budget-friendly card. You're looking at possibly $1,500 or more. The card itself will be a statement by ASUS as a means of displaying what they're capable of as a manufacturer rather than just somebody who slaps a GPU on a board. This will be a low quantity, low selling uh, production line, so they're going to make their money back on it, but they're not looking to make a ton of money. This is a look what we can do super mega EP kind of thing here. And this is very reminiscent of, like I mentioned earlier, which was the Ares 2 which was the first dual HD 7970 graphics card which came out before the HD 7990 so you know they kinda pioneered that before it but it's similar to what like Power Color did with the Devil 13 of the R9 290 and 290X gen generation but it'll be interesting to see if this fleshes out and if it's true we can't wait to see just what this thing's capable of so what are your thoughts in the comments down below what do you have to say about this what do you do you think it's pointless do you think it's a great idea would you like to see how well it can perform but either way this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and if you found this video entertaining or informative whatsoever feel free to like subscribe and again leave a comment if you have a question and we'll catch you guys all in the next video